y'all. It's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Monday. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to start the week. If you have never joined us for Mystery Stamping, let me just tell you just a little bit. I will not be doing any physical stamping until the very end. At the very end, I will be making the card, but only after I have given you, I don't know, about 10, 12 clues for you to make the card along with us. Then I will show you my card and then I'm going to make my card. It is my new way of making sure that everyone enjoys mystery stamping, no matter if you're just watching, just kind of lurking, if you're actually participating, or maybe if you get kind of lost and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to wait till she's done and see what this card looks like. We do have two rules with mystery stamping. You know, there's always got to be house rules with everything. First rule, no stress. Absolutely no stress. This is a fun, interactive way to make a card. It is great for new beginner stampers or those of you who've been stamping for a while. Um, number two, second rule. We have a saying here, mystery stamping, we just say, just go rogue. You've got all the pieces in front of you to make a card. And if you get lost on any of my clues, which don't worry, I'm going to give you plenty of time to work the clues as we go through them tonight. Um, but maybe you get lost on a clue or you're like, I don't like that clue. Just go rogue. That's what we say. Okay. I want to say hello to everyone who is uh, joining me live. Everyone is talking about my bright yellow shirt. Thank you so much. Um, we, you know, here in Texas, here in central Texas, we've been freezing. It has been for reason, we've had uh, we've had so many trees lost. Um, what do you call them? Like from the from the they broken, and um, I just uh, it's been so sad. Today, what was the temps? Seventy six. It's a wonder I'm not sick. <laughs> we go from twenty something to seventy six, like in the blink of an eye. So, um. Well, thank you, Kate. She says, I'm looking good, getting ready for my trip. Um, yep, you guys are loving my shirt. Thank you so much. Um, hello, Polly. Hello, Rochelle. Hi, Linda Carver. Hi, Gwen Cooper from North Carolina. Hi, Margie Beecher from, oh, Albany. I was like, Albany? Albany, New York? Or Albion, New York? I don't know. Debbie Aldridge says, just go rogue. That's our, that's our thing here. Uh, Lavina is here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I understand we have some birthdays in the house. I saw you guys wishing each other happy birthday. How fun is that? You guys, you know, you hop on the, the live, um, you know, I don't know, at least 30 minutes ahead and start chatting with your stamping friends from all over. Um, you know, we have stampers all over the United States and the world. We have some from um, Norway, We uh, Nor Norway, the Netherlands. Um, I don't know if Inika is on tonight. I haven't seen her. Um, Michelle Townsley said, um, Sharon, we are four minutes into this and I'm already having fun. This is the highlight of her week. I love that. Yay. Um, hello, Terry Biggs from Tennessee. Just watching tonight. That's okay. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to give you a... Um, Lavina says, I look like a ray of sunshine. Well, you know, I try, <laughs> but I would tell y'all, I just have to tell y'all this. So did y'all know that you can get your passport um, updated now online? You don't have to go in. So I went to the, to Walgreens to get my passport photo. The rules are smile, but no teeth. And I can't see your ears. What? My my ears? What? What? She goes, well, it's just how you have your hair. And I was like, what's wrong with my hair? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. So there you go. I hope that I zoomed in enough. Yeah, I did. Okay. Mysteries. Okay. Y'all check out the fun nails. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
the funnest I think I've ever done. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. So um, I want to tell everybody who is new um, that the way to participate with mystery stamping is to get the first clue. I email the first clue um, every Sunday that we're having Mystery Monday. Um, so you need to go below the video and click on join my newsletter. That's how you will get the first clue delivered to your inbox. Now, with that said, I'm going to be on vacation for the next two Mondays. That is February 13th. So that's why I did my Valentine nails for you early and February 20th. I will actually be rolling back into the house on the 20th, but I ain't promising to do nothing on the day I'm driving back from Arizona. So there's that. Um, okay. So if you want to play along, get the first clue. Now, speaking of the first clue and is Renee Paris on uh, Renee has nothing to do with this. I don't know if Renee is on, um, let's see, let me scroll down. I somehow I got lost. Oh, Cindy Wagner's got on yellow too. Oh, you guys like my nails. Um, Wanda said I should get my passport picture at your library. Well, let me tell you, they charged me 20 bucks for that ugly picture. It is awful. <laughs> it's awful. I mean, smile, but and show your ears. What? What? <laughs> anyway, uh, Renee is on. Okay, so... I sent her a text while ago and I didn't even check to see if you answered. I'm like, did I send you these clues? Because guess what, y'all? And this is why I have my pink uh, Sharpie. I, I, I'm just so excited for my trip. <laughs> I honestly, let's see, where is it? <laughs> right here. Clue number three is questionable. I, I don't think you need that. I don't think you're going to need that. Um, so you're going to hang on to that and make a card with something else on another day. I don't know. I, we'll see. I, I have double, triple checked these and I have no idea. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, let me take off my paper clip. I even got a pink paper clip. Look at me being all, um, Holly says she got her passport picture at Walmart and they didn't say anything about showing your ears and it was only $8. Great. I don't want to know about that. I don't want to know about that. All right. Clue number two. Um, so I told you to have the same, same colored cardstock. I've already, you've already got one piece that you've scored and folded at five and a half. That is the four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I only got like 20 of y'all asking me, was that right? It's right. I promise. That part is right. Take the same colored cardstock that is three inches by five and a half and score it with the paper trimmer score blade at one half inch on the short side. And you know, Renee, I think I did send you this. Hello from Renee's sister. Carol, nice to meet you, Carol. And you're so welcome for the surprise. Um, let's see. We have somebody on here from Guatemala. Who's going to Guatemala? Oh, Rita Maria Castillo is from Guatemala. Welcome. Guys, I just love it when you are from all over. I mean, I know, and I can't even pronounce your name, but I've got... Um, a friend on here, a stamping friend, mystery stamper from Portugal. And um, time to search for your favorite mystery Monday stamping. Mm -hmm, Michelle, you're right. When you are done with clue number two, type done two. And there's about 300 of you on here. I know a lot of y'all are just watching and that's fine. That's fine. We are doing something crazy called mystery stamping where I give you clues to uh, make a card. Then at the end, I solve the mystery by showing you what my card. And tonight it's going to be four cards. I loved this one so much. I made four of them. Just saying. It's fun. It's a fun one. Uh, let's see. Let's see what anybody else is saying. Done two, done two. 
Wanda says we are no longer to wear our glasses or smile for a driver's license. Well, apparently this is a new rule. You can't be happy. They apparently have never seen mystery stampers because <laughs> we are a happy group. We are a happy bunch. All right. I think you guys are done with two on the short side or the long side. Okay. So we are, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's just get a piece of paper. Let's just get a piece. Of, whoops. That's the wrong kind. Uh, let's get this one. Oh, I do have, hold on. I do. I do have props. Hold on. Hold the phone. So we are scoring, this is the three inches by five and a half, and you're going to score it on the short side, half inch, right there. Where's my, where's my score? Because I think I did send this one to Renee and I didn't say this right. So I think she scored it differently. But it, I, no matter, no matter the the issue of giving you uh, telling you an extra clue. I don't, I don't. That's all on me. I don't know what it is. I, 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 I don't know. I try my best to make these perfect. That's why Renee helps me. <laughs> and sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, so we get on that one. That is clue number two. Uh, Renee says, yes, you did. And I did answer your text. Did you catch this one, Renee? <laughs> did you use that piece? <laughs> I've been trying to work ahead because of my trip. And so Renee, Renee and I both have slept lots of nights since then. So there you go. Uh, you guys are loving my nails. Thank you. Um, perfect is boring. Amen, Lisa. Perfect is boring. Beverly says, hello, everyone. She's just watching tonight. That's okay. Um, shorts. Okay. Well, hold on. Michelle says short side, which one, which one way on the blade, which one way on the blade? Hmm. I think you understand now that I did this. Starla, Starla's mom always says, now hold the phone. She loves that we said that. <laughs> now just hold the phone. Oh gosh. Perfect is overrated, Wanda. Virginia says she had to recut the first measurements on clue number one. Did you cut this? Have to recut this one or the four? What is it? Four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And we're scoring it at five and a half. Oh, Kara, Carrie um, messed up already. Okay, so what did you mess up on? If you can fix it, keep on going. Otherwise, um, you're going to need to get some more paper. Because all we've done is score. <laughs> we've just scored one piece of paper. That's all we've done for clue number two. Oh, that's my Sharpie. I was like, what is that? Um. Carol, how are you? Finally made a live after in the for the last nine five months. We haven't seen you. So glad that you're here with the long side along the top. Yes, yes, Michelle. Yes, or the bottom, like I use it upside down. So, see, Virginia calls it scoring on the long side, and that's what I called it. But Renee scored. This way. I remember that. Um, Paula Ross said, I trimmed down my blade piece by the one quarter inch. Really? Okay. So y'all, y'all, did y'all not catch that? Eight and a quarter, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Scored at five and a half. Y'all know, sometimes that first clue, that's the real mystery. Mm -hmm. You're like, what in the world is she saying? Uh, let's see. Renee <laughs> Renee says, Renee read, score the long side, not score on the long side. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Okay, so do I need to fix this clue before y'all get to download it? <laughs> 
<gasps> Lois is babysitting in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Can I please show clue number one real quick? There we go. Clue, clue, um, mystery stamping clues may not go live at 8 p.m. I might need to fix that. Because not everybody watches this part. I want to make sure this part is okay. Um, okay, so Susan says she's glad that I changed it to the short side. Makes so much more sense. I mean, you know, it's like, it, see, it could go either way. I don't know. Uh, Kathleen says, I tried making a card ahead of time, but didn't get too far. Thanks for sharing. The scoring makes more sense. Yeah, if you don't score this piece, you're like, I this doesn't fit anything. Nothing. Okay. Um, Sharon Smythe, Smythe says, just have them go rogue. Just go rogue. You're making a card. Just say on the three-inch side. Perfect, Gloria. Perfect. We'll just say on the three inch side, score at a half inch. There we go. 16 minutes, only two clues. Yeah. All right. We're moving along. Clue number three add adhesive on the colored cardstock on the flap that is the one half inch section and add it to the back of. The basic white that is four inches by five and a quarter. It is 720. We have got to get this thing moving. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, Debbie. Debbie says she prayed for me and my family during the ice storm. Um, you know, all my kids did fine. Um, everyone, um, everyone did... <laughs> Everyone did great. Um, I know my niece and them lost a lot of trees in their neighborhood, so it's super sad. Um, their city, uh, Dripping Springs, has even been declared like a you know a disaster, and so it's just it's just it's sad. But we are all good, and we didn't nobody lost power, so that's the good news. Rosemary said, "This may be an odd question, but I was sick with sinus last week. On three and four scrap meant use scrap pieces of paper." Last week's clue. Oh, honey, I've slept since then. Is that what you're asking me, uh, Rosemary? On three and four, scrap meant you scrap a piece of paper. If it said scrap, then it was scrap pieces of paper. When you guys are done with clue number three, type done three. Um, hi, Susan Ray Hendricks. How are you? Okay, there's 317 on. Oh, on clue number one. Oh, there's scrap pieces of um, of colored cardstock and scrap pieces of basic white. Is that what you're saying? Scrap pieces of those. Okay. Um, let's see. I think we're, do we center that on the short side? So I told you to add it to your basic white. And if it were me, I would just center it. That's what I would do if it were me. But you know what? It's your card. If you want it down or up, you can't go too far with it. That's for sure. I don't know. Centered looks great. But I'm not telling you how to make your card. Let's see. What else? What else? Could I show clue number three finished on your card? Nope. Nope. You don't get to, you want to see my card, like the whole card or just what I just showed you, Anita. I don't show the whole card until we're all done, but that should help you like that. Uh, hold on. Centered her at the bottom. Somebody asked about the glue. Okay. I don't know who it was, but we're adding adhesive here. That was clue number two. And then we are sticking it on the back of the basic white that is four inches by five and a quarter. Now, Yolanda asked that. Where do we add the glue? Okay, so that this will open like that. Okay, how are we doing? Cindy says she's done with three, but she's she might be going rogue because she's uncertain. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, thank you for not revealing the mystery. Yes. No, I don't ever do that. Um, Anita says I'm very visual. So that's why we, we try to have props, especially on the fun folds. I don't always have props, um, but I do like to, when it's a fun fold, I do like to um, have them for you. Margaret is late, but you know what? It doesn't matter because you're here. We're just on clue number three. Um, Gloria says she cut her card base wrong. She just needs to read better. Michelle Townsley says this is making so much more sense. Um, yeah, because like I said, if you don't score this piece, ain't nothing going to happen. It's not going to come together. Okay, let's move on to clue number four. Add adhesive to the back of the basic white layer with that panel attached and put inside of the card that is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay. Oh, Cheryl Ann, I can't wait for your shoulder to heal, period, my friend, so that you can participate with us, but I'm sure so you can do lots of other things. So here is our card base. And so now what is looking like on clue number four, this is what we're going to have happening. Okay. We've got this like this. Okay. This is what we're doing. When you're done with clue number four, type done four. So over on the blog, later on this evening, uh, typically right at 8 p.m. Central, um, the blog post will go live. You will see pictures of my cards and you can scroll down to the bottom and download the clues in a very condensed form. You do not, you will not be getting this big bulky one clue per page. I think it's about two and a half pages that you will be printing. Okay. You guys are done with four. Um, I thought you said you may have a measurement error. Last night, last night, last night was Sunday. Well, I the only measurement error I found was this one. I don't know what clue number three is. I don't know. Clue number five, add designer series paper that measures two and a quarter by four and three quarters to the front flap with adhesive. Now I'm calling this the front flap Hold on, let's bring this in because it's going to be on the front. Boy, this is really hard when you don't adhere it down. So we could either add our, you know, our designer series paper is double-sided. Jay Marie says, I'm scared that I feel like I'm doing, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm scared, but I feel like I'm doing okay this week. Don't be scared. No stress. Remember rule number one, no stress, no stress. Becky says, hi, brand new here. Love your nails. And this is fun to watch. I'm too late to join in. Becky Horn, we're so glad you're here. Thank you for the kudos on the nails because these are really fun. These are the funnest ones I've had. Um, we are doing something crazy called mystery stamping. I do it every Monday night, except the next two weeks, I'm going to be on vacation. If you want to participate um, when I come back and get that first clue delivered to your inbox, Becky, just go below the video and click join my newsletter. Um, I also share, uh, if you're a stamper, I share tip of the week every Tuesday, Tuesday tips of the week. Um, so you get some good information from my newsletter. It's not just, um, you know, I also sell some free tutorials, but um Renee is telling me I do need that piece. Okay, y'all hang on. Renee says we need it, so hang on. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, so for the next two Mondays, February 13th and 20th, I will be on vacation. So, Rebecca says, just got on, can't wait, we'll catch up. Okay. Um, I think we're a great group. I think we're a great group. Um, do you score the card base at five and a quarter? Yes, you do. This was scored at five and a quarter. Yes, ma'am. 
This has thrown so many people off, okay? Two and a quarter doesn't seem big enough. Uh-oh. Add designer series paper that measures. That should have been two and three quarters. You're right. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters by four and three quarters. Look at us. We have another error. Renee probably gave me all of these, and I just ignored everything she told me. Everything, apparently. Sorry, Renee. Renee's going to fire me one day. That's it. Um, <laughs> when you are done with clue number five, type done five. Jeannie says not five and a quarter, five and a half. Uh-oh. Hold on. Five. This is scored at five and a half. We are usually not this dysfunctional. We usually have it all together. We usually do. This is why I have another set of eyes looking at the clues. Okay. Okay, y'all. This seems to still be our question. Move that cutting blade out of the way. This piece of paper is eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we are scoring it at five and a half. Okay. Scored at five and a half. Trinket Troy says, man, I've messed up big time. Going to have to wait to the end to rectify my problem. Mm, 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 mm. And Deborah has a great tip, guys. She labels all of her, um, all of her pieces um, as she cuts them. Okay. I think you guys are done with five. Clue number six. Add the designer series paper that measures two and a half by four inches to the left flap of the card base with adhesive. So well, that would be this flap. Okay. Robin says that I take a quarter inch off the paper. I sure did right here on clue number one. It is eight and a quarter, not eight and a half. Okay, when you're done with clue number six, type done six. Wanda says she labels hers as well. My directions are correct, Eileen says. I just said it wrong. Doesn't surprise me. We have questioned why I do these on Mondays many times. <laughs> many a time. Okay, I'm starting to see some duns with six. I see quite a few have just joined in. We are doing something crazy called Mystery Monday Stamping. I typically do this every Monday night at 7 p.m. Central. Um, if you would like to play along with us in the future, you can look below the video and join my newsletter to get the first clue, which is a list of supplies to have ready um, for us to go live on Monday night. And then you can uh, work along with us and solve the mystery by making your card. Renee is so sweet. Even after I probably messed up something, she says they make Mondays somewhat something to look forward to. So even if I, you know, mess up, it's still fun. There you go. All right. You guys are done with six. Clue number seven, use the basic white scrap and stamp using greetings and images. Then I want you to trim it to size with your paper trimmer. So for example, this was your front flap, remember? This is a rectangle, so you might want to stamp your greeting and image and have it be closer to this shape versus having a tiny little square or a tiny little circle on this big piece, because this is where it's going to go, just so you know. Mary Lou said, I cut the second DSP landscape, but just turned it over and it worked. Perfect. 
Cheryl says, mystery stamping makes Mondays fun. Thanks so much for giving so many people something to look forward to. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, Sue Walls says, a suggestion for the future. Perhaps put a star by the unconventional way to cut the paper. We are creatures of habit and usually automatically cut a card base at five and a half by eight and a half. That is a good point, Sue. And I thought I was throwing you off by not saying four and a quarter by 11. See, typically our card base is by 11, but I told you eight and a quarter. So it, it was unconventional. You're right. That eight and a quarter threw a lot of people off. Hello, Beth Bruner. She says she's running late, but she'll watch the replay. You can um, always watch replays. Y'all can do that the next two weeks while I'm gone. I have a whole uh, playlist here on YouTube that you can watch previous mystery clues. Because we've been doing this now for a long time. Long time. Brenda says, I've done this so far right because she labeled her pieces. Perfect. If you... Um, if you are new to my channel, you love this idea of mystery stamping, let me know by giving me a thumbs up below the video. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that's an even bigger compliment. And then ring that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I go live like this for mystery stamping or live on Thursday nights or I upload a video. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and not only do I provide you with creative ideas, such as mystery stamping, I can also supply you with some products. Um, so if you ever need any Stampin' Up! supplies, you can find my store below the video. Um, Shelly says, I need to dedicate a few days for replay fun. Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Uh, let's see. Uh-oh, what did Renee say now? Renee, I got to keep her in check. That is not your front flap. Yes, it is. What are you talking about? Okay, hold on. This is my front flap. Renee. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Okay. This is my front flap. This is my left flap. Girl. Girl, girl, girl. <laughs> Vey says, I'm, I'm new. Vey, you're not new. You've been doing mystery stamping. Excuse you. You've been around. Karen Nakayama, I always use non-directional paper on Mystery Monday. And that is a good idea because you never know what we're going to do with it. Um, Rosemary says, we'll have to pull out some of our favorite mystery projects previously done and create new cards. There you go. There you go. Great idea. Starla says it is good to stretch our brains. It is. I know Karen Renee is always screaming at me. That is not your card front. The extra piece is your sentiment. It's too big for that. <laughs> I measure. You see this ruler? I measured and it's too big. <laughs> We'll see how it all turns out. All right. How are we doing on seven? Um, if you're done with seven, type done seven. Margaret says she just loves this mystery. Sean and Darcy Dutton, I really enjoyed this. It is my first time and it's so fun. Yay. I'm so glad. I am so glad. Okay, <laughs> this card has three pieces, not two. Two were covered with DSP and one with sentiment. Uh-huh, I know. And it's too big. <laughs> Rita says, I am late too. We'll download uh, afterwards. Loves mystery stamping. Okay, I think we're done with seven. This one is a true mystery for everybody. That was seven or seven. Clue number eight, create a mat for the stamped basic white layer with the colored cardstock scrap that's too big. Use that piece if you want to. Adhere the two layers together with adhesive. Beverly Smith says, on Mondays, I make my husband eat dinner early so I can watch you. 
I'm sure hubby loves me. Mm -hmm. He's probably one of the many husbands who go, great, it's that Sharon lady. <laughs> She's ruining my life. Um, Starla, I did. I looked at my finished cards and it's too big. It's too big. Janice Turk says, I use this as a template then and then keep the real one. Okay. Mary A says that she just loves the banter between you two, <laughs> between Renee and I. I know Renee is just, I can hear her screaming, screaming at me. Mm -hmm. She's fun. She's fun. She still loves me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know, Roxanne. What is what is Vay talking about? This is her first time. She's so silly. Um, I know that's not what clue number eight says, but I don't know what else to do with that piece of paper. Because <laughs> it ain't on clue number nine. It ain't on clue number 10. Oh, my Lord. Deborah says, my husband calls you my card lady. I like that title. I'm the card lady. What do you do? I'm the card lady. Yeah, I like that. Antoinette says, actually, my husband reminded me of the time. Well, Antoinette, tell him thank you. Because you would have been sad if you'd have missed this mystery Monday. Because apparently this whole thing is a mystery. Um, hi, Cindy DeFries. She just turned in. She'll catch me on the replay. Perfect. Perfect. There's quite a few of that looks like it have just tuned in. We are doing, um, Renee, Renee apparently is typing corrected clues. We are doing mystery clues to make a card. Um, anyone is always welcome to join us. Um, if you are interested in joining us, you can always um, sign up for the newsletter below the video and then... Um, <laughs> And then you can join us on Monday nights when we go live on YouTube. Linda says, um, hold on, where did it go? It was too funny. Um, this is becoming a glass of wine kind of mystery. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Linda Goble had to step outside to see a rocket launch. It was pretty chilly outside. Um that is the clue you sent me. It was not a corrected one. Well, then where did this one come from? Renee. Clue number nine. Add the previous two layers to the flat portion of the card front with dimensionals. This is the flap. Blame it on the one. Apparently, I must have had some one. I don't know. Maybe this clue came from another mystery. I don't know. <laughs> oh who's got sunset blush kathy no let's see karen says that i've gone rogue 100 percent wanda says i wish i'd poured the wine <laughs> renee says sharon i haven't i haven't a clue i haven't a clue what you did <laughs> oh my goodness rosemary a second glass of wine Oh, I can't wait to see what your card looks like. By the way, speaking of that, we do have a Mystery Mystery Monday Stampers Facebook group. If you guys want to post your cards over there, it is an open group on Facebook. Um, and so you can post your cards over there so everybody can ooh and ah over your card, over your interpretation of tonight's mystery card. Denise says, now I'm totally confused. I'll just watch you. I'm so sorry. Sorry we confused you, Denise. I'm so sorry. Um... Priscilla says, I'm good. I'm watching the replay. I have to double check clue number one. There you go. Carol just got signed up for the newsletter. Perfect. Perfect. Rochelle Schmitz, she is a hoot. She is a hoot. Okay. I think you guys are done with nine. Um, Janice Turk says, my first one's a template. Then I make the regular one. I then mark off all the measurements on each piece then goes in my shoe box with my other templates. Great idea. Great idea. All right. Clue number 10. Look at your card. <laughs> number one, is it finished? <laughs> Does it need embellishments? What about a bow? Anything? 
anything. If so, add that now. If not, say all done. I am all done with this card and I love it, even though it was a mystery. Ah, Cindy says she loves her card and she's off to pour her some wine. Perfect. Now Renee sounds like um, Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep crafting. Um, let's see, all done, all done. Sharon Smythe is making masculine cards, perfect. Linda says her card turned out beautifully. There, see, see? I'm so glad because I was a little worried after the um, extra thrown in piece of cardstock. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I, I don't know. But I got to go make sure that our download doesn't have that because that is really. Um... So Yolanda says all done made into a birthday card for a guy. So February birthdays are done. My February birthday cards went in the mail today. Michelle says I love my card, but so far I need more time to finish it because of all the fuzzy cutting. I think she means fussy cutting. Um, I can't wait to see the post on Facebook. Thank you so much for an amazing Mystery Monday. There you go. All right. Let's see what my four cards look like because I have four of them. Yep, yep, yep. First of all, let me just show you what I did. I used two-tone flora and something fancy. Now, I've been playing with this stamp set, and I've not played with these tiny little flowers. Mm-hmm. That's what I used. So you ready? Clue. There we go. And nowhere on here is that piece of cardstock, Renee. Nowhere. Nowhere. This is too small. So um, Alexandra is all done. There's that one. And then how about this one? Sympathy cards are hard to make. This one's just a very soft, simple sympathy card. May the good you do come back to you. What do y'all think? I'm going to scroll this down because it didn't go with me. There we go. And then we have Mary Lou says, wow, mine looks like yours. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Grateful for the everyday magic in you, of you. There we go. So, I told you what stamps that I used. I used the Park Place Designer Series papers. And when you get a pack of papers like this, the possibilities are endless. Um, I, I just... So I'm going to make this card in front of you and you're going to see how the, it just keeps on going um, because of all the different. So what I wanted to point out, do you guys ever do this? Now, this is the Stampin' Up! mini catalog. If you are new to my channel, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like one of these in the mail, uh, mail to you, uh, plus a big catalog, we are more than happy to do that. Um, below the video, you can uh, contact me or request a catalog. So on page 14 and 15 is this beautiful paper that goes with two-tone flora and um, something fancy, stamp set. So these are the stamp sets I use, but I didn't use that paper. Instead, I used this paper. I don't know why I didn't use the other paper. I guess I just wanted that card. I mean, this paper. So um, different stamp sets. You could still use it with that paper. But do y'all ever do that? Mix and match? You're like, oh, it doesn't have to always be that way. All right. Let me just make my card for you. And I'm going to make a different version. Uh, let's see. Your white is a different size on each card. It is a different. That's why I changed it. And I just didn't change the size. Maybe so. Renee. I know you're just screaming at me, girl. I know you're just screaming at me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put these pieces together. 
Hopefully this mystery will be solved. Uh, what was the sentiment stamp I used? Oh, something fancy. This has got so many great sentiments on it. Um, there's my sympathy. There's your birthday. I don't even know if I did birthday. Did I do birthday? Did birthday on the blue. Yes, birthday. Um, this is grateful for the everyday magic of you. There you go. All right. So the first clue we scored, or clue number two was we scored there. And we added some adhesive. Okay, let me put that under. And we took our basic white. Roxanne says she loves them. She already has that DSP. She ordered Sentimental Park Bundle last week. Now I know the first cards I will make. So I'm just going to, I told y'all, if I were you, I would center this. Okay, so we've centered it. And then now we're going to add some adhesive. And we're going to put this on the inside. Okay. And then I decided to go bold. Bold. I am trying. I have, I've realized that I have not treated Mango Melody very nicely. I never use it. Never. So I'm trying to be nicer to Mango Melody and use it more. In my stamping. Yay, you guys are loving the cards. Thank you. Now, on this one, I'm going to turn it over and use the back. Okay, so we're going to use this kind of a denim looking color. It really is an easy card, Trish. You're right. Okay, so now I'm going to use Night of Navy and Mango Melody. Yay, Lavina is loving the colors. I mean, is that not bright? That is totally, even though I love bright colors, that is not something I would normally pick. De Debbie says, I'm not into Mango Melody either. I'm not either, but it's growing on me. So give it a chance. Give it a chance. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, what's on there? There's always something on our basic white. All right. So I am stamping over here on the right-hand side. Renee says we just like to make it difficult. Yes, we do, apparently. So I thought, you know, I, I pointed out to you guys, there's a bunch of big flowers on here. What about these little ones? These little things need some love. So I'm going to try. Now, I've not made this card. Karen says this card, this layout lends itself to many, so many ideas for DSP and stamps. Yep. I'm telling you, this is going to keep y'all busy for the next two weeks. Y'all can make a ton of these while I'm gone. Just saying. All right. So we're going to use a little bit of Mango Melody. Ooh, that is very light. That's okay. And then we're going to ink up using the Knight of Navy. And ooh, let's see how we do. Perfect. Perfect. Renee, we get on the phone and say, hmm, how can we make this as confusing as possible and then show them how easy it is? <laughs> Don't y'all just love her? She is just a hoot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My uh, CO Plus is not wanting to play along tonight. All right. Wh what measurements is this? Hmm. This is... three inches by one and three quarters. So then this would be the mango melody is three and a quarter by two. There you go. Okay. Just so you all know, mine is nothing like this card. <laughs> Renee, you should have remade it. Um, and so I told you to pop this up with some dimensionals. Oh, I just realized I didn't get any embellishments. Oh, I didn't put embellishments on mine. I decided I didn't want them. There you go. Um, Eileen says, I, I use clue number three to put mine. Okay, so here we go. 
Ta-da. I'm done. There we go. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. Thank you guys for playing along with us tonight for a mystery Monday. Um, we had a good time. I hope that you did. And don't forget, you can go post your card over on the Facebook group so that we can see it. Um, and I will post mine and the corrected clues. I'm going to double check those. Um, all of that will go live on my blog and about when I get done. <laughs> I will see you guys in a couple of weeks.